Hello to all of you, the viewers of Poland Daily Culture. My name is Maria Konjelska and we continue our discussions about art. Today we want to introduce to you another Polish artist, Magdalena Lenartowicz. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for the invitation. It's a big pleasure to be here. And the, this paintings and canvases, all these colors which you see behind us, that's the work of Magdalena. Magdalena, you're going to have an exhibition very soon because you cooperate with the MAG Modern Art Gallery in Warsaw, in Hala Koszyki. You're going to have an exhibition in very October. soon in October. Yes. So, uh, but before we touch the topic of the exhibition, tell us a little bit about yourself and how did it start to become I'm an painter. artist? I'm a painter, I'm an intuition artist. Uh, I painting by hand, hands and... Uh, you do by hands? Yes, I uh, don't uh, use any brushes. You don't use brushes? So no. that's very interesting. I'm just uh, taking my hands like a brushes. So I uh, painting what I feel and uh, I create the um, uh, abstraction uh, in canvas. Because it's all abstract art? Yes. Sometimes uh, people told me that they see uh, on my uh, painting wood or nature, uh, sea or ocean, but I don't feel it uh, like you that. Don't, you, you don't try to intentionally to make it yes. all of those things. How did, how did it happen that you become an artist? Uh, as a child, I always uh, loved to uh, create something. And uh, after uh, school, I thought that I wasn't too talented to go to university. I tried to be historian of art. Okay, so you tried to be a history of art. Yes. So something very different. Yes. Uh, and then you are, later on you work as a manager, yes? Yes. Uh, after that, uh, I uh, find a job uh, in marketing and found, down, uh, found out that it's a good uh, idea to connect uh, historian of art and marketing because I have big... You feel the colors, yes. you feel how, it, well, what is beautiful, what is not, what is yes, pretty, that's true. how colors go together. So it definitely helps in marketing. Yes. Because after all, um, well, the, the advertisements need to catch our attention. So that's they usually true. need to be pretty or beautiful. It, that's true. I uh, always uh, uh, see what uh, other people don't see. So I see. really uh, help. <laughs> In it marketing. helps you in marketing. Uh, yeah. so, okay, so you are working as a, uh, in, as a manager in a marketing firm company. So what was the trigger? What happened that you actually decided to, to do the art yourself? When my uh, daughter was born, uh, uh, I need to uh, have something that uh, the motion... Uh, oh, wait, to, to, to Go, let your emotion go through. Yes, that. I yes. see. But uh, th so you stopped working because when she was born, of course, there's time when a mother needs to stay at home yes, with a child. Yes, it was a new role in family, new role uh, in world, in and I need to something, uh, do something with myself because I was sad and I was uh, depressed, and I try to do something more with my life because uh, being a mother. It's a really difficult uh, role in uh, our uh, Well, that, definitely, there's a lot of challenges connected yes. to it. Uh, so you found out art is your way to express yourself. Yes, that was and, uh, the so moment. So now I know that you work on big canvases, but was it like this from the very beginning? I always try to paint in small canvas, but my uh, husband told me, come on, order the big one and we will see what's happened. Okay, so you ordered a big canvas. Yes. You say yourself that you do you do work uh, with your hands and not with brushes. Yes. So you ordered a big one, and also uh, how how did it work out? Like, I start painting, and it's happened. Uh, after that, I'm sell that. Uh, so you're about to sell, to sell this, part, uh, yes. this painting. Yes. It was so it was a success. One. Yes. After that, uh, Sopotsky Domokcyn uh, see my painting and ask me to uh, come to uh, auction. Auction, okay, I see. So, uh, so first painting, first big painting you do and you already have a, um, a commercial success. Not really, because I'm, uh, I don't feel that uh, this way. It was, uh, I want to uh, give uh, 
the client, my soul and my heart, not, not the, just a canvas with my painting. So you're you basically trying, you're selling your emotions in a way, or you're selling yes. your part of yourself. Yes. Well, it's, I would say it's always a little bit like this with creating art and uh, creating dimensions, which are after all so difficult. And someone told me that uh, my paintings are like uh, uh, drinking a champagne. Okay. In, uh, <laughs> in uh, Italy. Italy. Drinking a champagne in Italy. So I would say that's a form of a punchline. Okay, so we can finish this episode with this uh, message for you that here we have a story of a mother who wanted to find out a way to express herself and bought eventually big canvas and now she became a professional artist. Her paintings are like drinking a champagne. Uh, maybe that would be an encouragement for you to try your own uh, ways of of expressing yourself in art, or maybe you're interested in buying Magdalena Lenartovich art, that's what we strongly encourage you to do. And thank you very much for watching Perlan Daily Culture.